Alright, fellas, it's time to get serious. We've covered a lot of wacky stuff recently, like the Slayer appearing in Fortnite, or Freddy Fazbear coming to Doom Eternal, or even Walter White popping up in Quake Champions, but now it's time to ground ourselves in reality once more. Time to put away the silliness, to hide our quirkiness, to stash away our craziness, and come back down to Earth, because it's time to talk about QuakeCon 2022. Yep, that's right, it is that time of the year again, which is something that actually kinda caught me off guard. I didn't even realize that it had been almost 8 full months since QuakeCon 2021 happened, and it's been exactly 11 months since I made my first video talking about it. Thinking about how far the channel has come and what's happened since then is just... wild. But we won't be taking a trip down memory lane today, because we need to talk about the QuakeCon 2022 details that were just released. So, if you enjoyed today's short news update, then make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for more Doom and Quake content. You'll get to stay up to date, and I'll get your support, so it's honestly a win-win for both of us. Anyways, diving straight into this, a statement was just recently released that gave us some details on this year's QuakeCon event. The statement, which should be on screen now, gets straight to the point and tells us that the event will be starting on Thursday, August 18th, and it will be ending on Saturday, August 20th. The event will also be online only once again, meaning that we unfortunately won't get to watch these panels in person. The statement goes on to confirm that the scheduling and charity details will be released at some point in June, and that they also have full plans to hold an in-person event in 2023. As sad as it is, it's completely understandable that they decided to hold a digital event this year. We'll still be able to get all of those great announcements and panels, but we just won't be able to watch them in person. That actually leads into the next part of this video, which is the announcements. Since we don't have a schedule for all of the streams, we don't really know what all we'll be seeing this year, but it's not too hard to make a semi-accurate guess. Last year, they gave us a free Slayer skin, some painfully vague details on update 6.66, and a classic Quake re-release. The previous event followed the same structure and gave us a free Slayer skin, paired with a painfully small teaser for the Ancient Gods Part 1, and some small updates on other things. With that being said, it's likely that we'll get another free Slayer skin, a medium-sized announcement for something, and some small details on something else. Oh, and of course, we can't forget the massive amounts of unrelated panels talking about random Bethesda titles that have nothing to do with its software. I mean, this is just essentially BethesdaCon, after all. I know that we're all hoping for a new Doom or Quake to be announced at this year's QuakeCon, but it honestly may be too early for that. There's always the possibility that they follow in Eternal's footsteps and show some sort of reveal trailer at the Summer Game Fest, then show a gameplay reveal during the convention, which would be sweet, but is highly unlikely. Tell me what you think we'll see announced down in the comments below. Aside from a Slayer skin that shares the same color scheme as for marketing, just like we've gotten the past two years, I don't think I can confidently make any more guesses on what we'll be seeing later this year, so that's as far as I'm gonna go. If you enjoyed this brief news update, be sure to leave a like on today's video and subscribe. It's a completely free way to stay up to date on everything Doom and Quake while also supporting the channel. I'll be leaving links to the QuakeCon information hub in the description if you want to check it out for yourself, as well as links to my merch store and Discord server. That's all I have to say for today's video, so thank you all for watching. Until next time.